Welcome back. If you've been following along, if you haven't, this is a series I've been doing on Teams Toolkit and kind of an introduction to kind of each piece of the toolkit. And so here's a look at where we are and where we've been. So we started uh, with some introductions on the extensions and the CLI. And today I'm going to just quickly show how to use Teams Toolkit to deploy to Azure. So in the previous sessions, I showed how to use VS and VS Code and the CLI to kind of run your projects locally. Uh, but I did not show how you can get that thing into Azure, into hosting. So that's we'll, so what we'll look at. And then uh, I think related to this, but slightly different, is how you might do this with CI and CD um, using the CLI tool, which is what I will be doing uh, hopefully next week. And so, all right, let me jump over to Visual Studio Code. All right, so we're in VS Code. And I have the toolkit installed, which you can get from the marketplace. And I've already created a project. So I've done create a new app. And I've uh, chosen, I think, a basic bot here just to keep things simple. So these are our templates. Uh, and if you haven't seen this, then I would encourage you to go back and look at uh, the recordings for the VS Code session. It kind of goes over this. And so I have my project in here. It's, it's my Teams app bot. And one of the things that we include in the templates is this infra folder. and by default, we give you some opinions on how to host this in Azure using bicep files. And so this gives you infrastructure as a code or infrastructure as code. So you can use bicep to provision these resources in Azure. And what we have by default here is uh, most of our templates follow the same format. Uh, but one thing I want you to take away from this is that you don't have to use this one if you don't want to use Bicep or you don't want to host in Azure or you don't want to use this opinion. You don't have to do that with the toolkit. We just give it to you by default. Um, you could use Terraform if you want or, or whatever you want to do. Um, but we have this Azure file and then in here are kind of the main resources. So one of the differences for our templates is uh, we tend to use user assigned managed identities instead of enter ID apps. Uh, for this by default. So you can see that's what we're provisioning here. If you're not familiar with Bicep, that's okay. I'm not that familiar with it either. Uh, I know just enough to be dangerous. Um, but the important thing is you can go in here and you can tweak this how you want. Uh, but you can look through here to see what the toolkit does by default. And so since this is a bot, we need um, some way to handle an identity. In this case, it's a managed identity. And we need somewhere to actually host this code. And so we have, I think, an app yeah, an app service by default. So that's what this code is. And then we also need an Azure bot service. And so that's what this is configuring. And then the specifics for an Azure bot service are in this file. So there's just a bunch of syntax in here that Azure likes um, using Bicep for doing that. So you can see we configured this bot service to work in Teams. And uh, the toolkit has some cool features with um, the environments. Uh, which I covered in previous sessions, but everything that we provision and the toolkit automates is saved as variables. And in this case, we're just using environment files. And the parameters file for Bicep is a way for the tools to input things. So in this case, um, this is the syntax, so dollar sign, and then some brackets, and then the name of your environment variable. And there's only one input for this uh, template, but if you use some of our more complicated templates, so there'll be multiple things here. Um, and the tools basically can input them. So that way you can read them inside your uh, infrastructure files. All right, so that's a little bit of the setup. And if you're in VS Code or you're in Visual Studio, we do have some UI um, or commands in VS Code uh, to run these things. Uh, so actually provision and deployed, like use these bicep files. And that's this lifecycle tab over here. So there's a provision, deploy, and a publish. Uh, button and what those correspond to are in our automation files we have these lifecycle stages provisioned uh, deploy and publish so these are our automation steps and you can see what provision does creates a teams app um, it's going to call arm deploy and this is really where we're going to use our bicep files and we can see if i i have, apparently have all this collapsed there we go. So you can see it's going to read that, that Azure that Bicep file. It's going to use the Bicep CLI, and it's going to provision. And it's going to use this account that I've signed in. So Teams Toolkit gives you a way to manage your M365 or Azure account. Um, these are my demo accounts. Um, so you can just click provision, and then the tool. I've already done this to make sure it works. It'll let you know it's going to cost you know possibly money for this, and you should review that before you provision this because it's actually going to create things in Azure. 
So I'll go ahead and do that. And you can run provision um, multiple times if you want, uh, but you only really need to run that if the bicep files change or it's the first time you're trying to do this. So we'll provision and it's gonna go ahead and create those in my Azure subscription. And I probably shouldn't have clicked that because I could have saved myself some time here, but it looks like it's not gonna take long. So once I provision, okay, those resources are now created. So that's the app service, the bot service, um, it's connected all of those things together for me. And all I need to do now is actually get my code into there. And so I can just hit deploy and it's going to, if we recall what I just showed you, deploy is going to, you can also click here if you want, but deploy is going to go through these steps. So if you're ever confused what the toolkit's doing, um, you can jump into the YAML file and see what the steps are that it's doing. And that's what these steps refer to down here, the three of three. Uh, in this case, there's three steps here. Run an uh, there's two different npm commands here. One is install, and one is build. And then there's an Azure App Service zip deploy here is the third step. So it's going to go through those three steps, and the toolkit has a bunch of output on um, what the, that's doing and shows you some values there. If you want to dive into like your app ID, or I'm in a step here, I'll show you the link that it's going to open. All right. So once that's provisioned and deployed. I'm not going to publish because I'm not going to actually publish this to the team store. Um, I'm still kind of, this is like my dev environment. It's not a, like a production environment. So you can see here, my dev environment, it says it's provisioned. So I can preview the app. And I think it's, if I click this, it's going to try to open it in this team's client. But I do want to get the link. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. And go down here, get this link. And let me get a browser where this will work. I don't want it to open in the Teams client that I am currently talking to you folks on. So I will come over here, put that into the browser. And here's my app install process. I did run this earlier, uh, so we should still see my messages from this morning. So I can go ahead and open that. Yep, here's what I did earlier. So here's my bot. This is now running in Azure. Um, and it's just a basic echo bot so should just reply with echo so there you go so now it's deployed in azure and i can go into the azure portal and investigate those resources if i need to do anything about it or i can use the toolkit to continue provisioning and deploying and that's uh, pretty much all there is to it and the next session i will show how you can use ci cd and the cli to do these commands yourself um it kind of is an automation step. So if you don't want to do it from Visual Studio Code or from Visual Studio, then you could put it as part of your CI CD system. So if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to reach out. Uh, happy to chat with you directly. Or if you want to get started, then I will show this link with you. So AKMS slash TTK. That's a good way to get started uh, with all things Teams Toolkit. So thank you. Mm -hmm.